Okay, uh, thank you. Welcome back. And uh, now we are going to talk about the buyer's uh, documents. What are the documents that are required from the buyer in the uh, in an oil deal or in the oil contract um, procedure? The first document is the LOI, that is the letter of intent. A letter of intent is the initial request sent by the buyer. It might be through an agent or a mandate. You know, as I said, you are working with the agent or the mandate of the buyer. So he will come with a letter. This first letter is called the letter of intent, which shows or uh, where he solicit or he request for something. The LOI must be in the buyer's letterhead and must be signed and sealed. So if the, the the LOI is not signed and not sealed and does not contain the, the, the buyer's letterhead, you know that it is already a fake, it is a scam. So check these three things when you get an LOI from a mandate or from a facilitator. An IPO is, a, is an irrevocable payment order. This is a document issued by the buyer to his bank to effect payment irrevocably to all agents. That means once the deal is completed, all the payments are done. The IPO is given by the buyer to his bank, okay? To make sure that all the payment will be done. Because though all the, I mean, though those working on the seller side are paid, the money is coming from the buyer. So the buyer is the one putting the money in the business, in the game, okay? So this money, is then shared in between the buyer, the, the, the seller, and all the intermediate uh, players. Okay, so he has to give this IPO to his bank. You make sure that he gave it to his bank and sent you a copy of it. The ICPO. This is the an irrevocable corporate purchase order. After uh, the buyer has received an offer from the from the seller. Okay, call the FCO full corporate offer so one the once i mean the buyer has received the has sent the uh, the loi to the the seller okay then this seller will give him the full corporate offer to say okay this is what we are offering okay then the seller may request for an icpo to confirm that the buyer has acceptable uh, his initial offer icpo is irrevocable irrevocable corporate purchase order it means that as we are starting the deal i am not going to drop the deal in the middle okay it means i have i am willing and i am ready and capable to do that and i really need it okay uh, another vocab that you will come across is the mfpa the master fee payment agreement. This is a document usually embedded or in the contract signed by the buyer and the seller. The master fee payment agreement is signed by both parties and it guarantees that the payment of commission to all the parties involved in the deal, all the parties involved in the deal will be paid. This is the guarantee. And now you have the POF, which is the proof of the proof of funds. This is what you need from the buyer, okay? The proof of funds to show that this comes from the bank, to show that he has the money in the bank. The proof of funds is a document that is issued by a bank confirming the financial capability of the buyer and client to complete the transaction. It could be a letter written, a signed and sealed by, by a bank officials in the bank's official st uh, stationery. That means it can also be in the form of a, quart a quarterly bank statement. It means it can be a, year, a yearly bank statement or a quarterly bank statement which state and say, okay, this buyer is ready. He has the required form to deal, in the, uh, to deal the contract, okay? Okay, well, uh, I think I have given you almost the, I mean, the main documents that you will need from the from the buyer side, and um, I 
think from now you are ready to I mean request the document identify which document is correct and what do you need on a document what's the meaning of a vocab what's the meaning of a, do a document if they ask you for a TLC a, an LOI or whatever then you know what is the meaning then in the next video we are going to or in the next lecture we are going to talk about the seller's documents thank you